Okay, you ready? Good dog. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Say win. Okay. Oh. <laughs> win. <laughs> okay. There's a so, swimming dog. So Jax has found a deep spot. Oh, come on. <laughs> what he doesn't realize is there's a hole about eight or nine feet deep there. And that's where I'm getting some good dirt. But I want to show you something. I put this on contour, but but I know, it, I mean, it's kind of flat here. This is how you can make sure the water goes where you want it to go. You can grab some of that microtritis just with a rake. You can line it up on the existing line. I want to use the existing line and just beef it up with some other materials. Or you can just lay some rocks and stuff on it and come back later and beef it up with some bigger stuff. But now, this pond flows over to that pond. They're both full. Now we're going to go upstream and see where this water is coming from. <laughs> I'm going to follow Jax. <laughs> Microdetritus everywhere. There's organic matter everywhere, and that's helping build the berm. But really, the most important thing is the water. So this water comes, and it's fed by this berm. So she's now standing on my up one of my upper berms. This diverts water in. You can tell when it flows because all of this all of this grass is laying down. So the water actually pushed it down. When this starts getting grassier, that vegetation is really going to help. Uh, help matters by, by having multiple layers of grass so that the uh, the water never hits bare soil it only hits grass this flows into this it's a sediment collecting pond when this fills up it goes back there and enters my system onward upstream